let's go over how to filter in Excel 2007 and by filter I mean show certain records or show certain rows, cells, etc. but hide other ones based on criteria that uh, we give Excel. For instance if we say only show violet then it won't show us any of these rows that say Perry, Phil, uh, or Thomas. So all of those will be hidden and, I, and I'll show you how to do that. It's very quick and easy. It's just like using the sort function. But what we can do is we'll just come up here and make sure we've got a header row with column labels because that makes things a lot easier. Um, if you don't have that you might still be able to do a filter but uh, I would encourage you to add one uh, to your data if it's not already there. So I went ahead and highlighted just those or I could have come here and highlighted the whole row. If I highlight the whole row I'm going to get drop down arrows and all these blank cells. So I like to just highlight the column labels themselves and then I come up to the data tab in the ribbon and I click on the filter button. Now that applies uh, these little drop down arrows onto all of these uh, cells that I had highlighted and what I can do is just really easy. I can come over here and grab project manager and just like we saw uh, in sorting how we can sort up here I can filter uh, through this menu and let's say we wanted to choose just violet. Right now it's got all of these values selected so if I check the box next to select all to uncheck it I can come down and just select violet. So now I just have violet selected and I click OK. So all of the other records disappeared and just the records that show violet now appear on my screen and it kept all this information so uh, these dates belonged with these product IDs and uh, let's say this dollar amount matches this product ID so since I'm using the filter uh, it carries all of the data in this single row together no matter how it's moving up and down the screen when I'm applying or getting rid of the filter so that's important to remember it's keeping my data together so that's nice uh, if I want to clear this filter I can either come up here and I can clear the filter from the menu or I can just come up here and press clear. If I press clear that gets rid of that filter and returns all of the data. You can see though that I can apply multiple filters if I want to. So let's say I want to show just Janet and Violet. So I just check their two boxes and say OK. Now I've just got Janet and Violet shown. But additionally, I want to show specific dates. So right now I've got October, November, and December. It's showing me the months because it's smart enough to recognize the dates. Uh, I'm going to come down here though and I can uncheck these uh, as months in total or I can use the little twisty there to expose the specific dates and I could uncheck certain dates. But a lot of times when you're working with dates, the easiest thing to do is come here to the uh, already pre-designed date filters can use any of these that already exist such as quarter or next month, last month, etc., uh, year to date, or I can use custom filter. And we'll talk about custom filter in another video, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and come back here and say last month. And you'll see that since I'm recording this video in October, nothing shows. But if I was to come here and change this to this month, now I see the values that are Janet and Violet, just Janet and Violet, in October. So I have two filters. You can tell if you can see, uh, I'll zoom in on these icons a little bit. If you can see that in these corners I've got the little filter icon, now it also has this little funnel shape along with my drop down arrow. And that means that a filter has been applied to each of these columns. And I can do more than just that if I want to filter this to only show high priority, I just click on high and say OK. And now I have just Violet and Janet, just October, and just high. So it's a really quick way to go through your data and kind of limit what you're seeing, especially if you have a lot of information in an Excel spreadsheet and you want to limit it down to just what you're looking for. Uh, filtering is very easy to use and very quick.